face proud and happy because of what you have done. And truly, God is so blessed, Sandra. And so today, I wish to commend Sandra to the able leadership of our principal, Ms. Eva Di Carocha, together with all guests, praise God, for our dear principal, and of course, with the concerted efforts of all the teachers, uh, your creating team, put together. Wow, you did amazing, guys. Very good. Congratulations. And of course, together with the board of trustees led by Elder Barbara Moroza, the staff and faculty, Suha the Evangelical Church family led by our dear pastor, Reverend Elias Gatus, and our dear parents, and of course, the amazing for having seen such splendid performances today. As some of you probably know, Santa will always occupy a very special place in my heart. So even if I'm not been feeling well this past few weeks, you see, when it's for your bosses, go, for it doesn't look around. Ayan. Ano po bedroom voice ngayon? Dahil nga po, medyo may sakit ako. But you know, when I heard that I would be invited to come over, I didn't have a second thought. Why? Because, as I said, I'm stand up for the life. I have been delicious for two so long. And I'm truly thankful to God for having allowed me to spend my best, happy, memorable teaching years here at SETA with the very special people with whom I have the opportunity to work with. Of course, mainly teacher Emma, Uncle Linda, Miss Glenda, teacher Mercy, and of course, Elder Ian, Elder John Bansignon, and all the other second annual originals, Aki Christy, who in one year or another have contributed a lot to make SECA the driving and fruitful school ministry that it is now. Could we give Having been an avid fan and follower of SETA, bless uh, the social media, I couldn't help but thank and praise the Lord for how He has blessed so SETA this past year. Indeed, SETA has been consistently adhering to its vision and core values. That of providing not just quality education, but also excellent Christian values to its constituency at a very reasonable cost. That's why, my dear parents, I'm sure you will agree with me that you're bringing to your children to SECA and trusting to them, especially the first years of your children. It's one of the best choices that you have made. You won't regret being a second because at second your children were not only taught the values, the academy, they were taught the word of God. And they have a good number of caring, loving teachers. This year's foundation anniversary team aptly describes SETA in her genuine desire to sell in skills and knowledge, receive in numbers, and sacrifice Christ-like character in the lives of every member of the SETA family. So today, I will share with you the thing Excel, Exceed, Excelify, which is based on the Bible verse, Philippians 1 verses 9 and 10. 9 and 10, sorry. I promised to turn to that I won't take long in giving this message because I know it's quite late. But I feel also that the concert that we have won today is more than enough. Alam niyo ba mga kids? Siguro mga ilang beses kami naiiyan doon sa ginawa ninyo. 
Kaya talaga ang sabi ko, parang hindi na ako dapat tumayo. Sobra-sobra na. So, salamat sa mga batang ito. But I feel, I feel that it's for you because this is what I'm doing for for. And I'd like to share with you just a very short message on this theme. So what do we have here? The first part is Excel. The word Excel in God's prayer is a computer term. Lover. The Excel is to do extremely well. To shine. To stand out. And given the choice, every person by nature decides to attain excellence. Did you not? The Excel in life entails a lot of hard work and discipline. And it pays. It is often rewarded. Parents want, want this for their children. Especially at school. Wala na kulang na gusto na mga anak nila. Mga losers, di ba? Gusto natin ang mga anak natin. Talaga nag-i-excel sila. We want only the best. The best that we could give. That's why we as parents, we work, we sacrifice. We are self-born by self too, right? Uba? In our finances, in our love life and family life. And we want to hear the doctor say that we are in excellent health, Uba? And oh, how we love winners. The likes of Manny Pacquiao and Pacquiao on a grave, Uba? Now, the second word is sexy. It means to surpass, to go I like it when someone says, I'm exceedingly joyful. Yun ba, hindi ka lang blessed, kundi super blessed, and highly favored, di ba? Yan. We hear this word from moms and dads who are extremely proud and thankful for the accomplishments of their kids. Yung akala mo, ganito lang sila. Wala ba sila there? You know, I was sitting before uh, a kinder, no? Peaceful students, no? And I could understand your frustration, di ba? It is so hard to control your children. Para iniisip mo, ay, ba naman ang mga bata, no? Ang kukulit, ano? But you see, when you see them stand here, performing, wow! Di ba? It's something that we parents really, we appreciate that. At sabi ko nga, sabi ka ni teacher Ler Mahalina, kahit isa na ulit sila. And you know, what they did today, far exceeds our expectations. Para siguro yung naisip natin, kaya nila yun? Grabe, mas magaling pa sila sa mga magunang, di ba? Para naisip pa rin ang gagal lalo ng mga bata ngayon. And so, when something exceeds our expectations, we feel proud. We feel happy and we rejoice. But you see, if our goal in life is simply to excel and to exceed, or if we push ourselves or our children too hard, para matamang po ang matamo, mamating ng mga bagay nito, then we will really feel a conflict. For why we can excel in one, we may fail in the other. We cannot always be on top. Chances are, there will always be someone who is better than you are. So when we define life truly on the basis of quantity and numbers, chances are, we will fail. But kanina, di ba? You we did our best, we did our best in the preparation that there will be technical problems. Pero okay lang yan. That's part of life. Hindi yan makaka-apekto sa atin. Why? Because after all, we are not, we are not, and we can never be perfect. And we're living in a totally imperfect world. No matter how much we try, we will always encounter problems, difficulties. I like it that the concert feature today a very relevant problem among our students. Not just in this school, but particularly in a lot of homes. And it touches a lot of hearts. We can relate, see? And so, we know that this is happening. What happened in the last time we were not in the last These are beyond our control. We will grow old. We will become weak. Right? And 
Nakikita tayo. And so, life must be good to some at times. We all know that nothing in this world really lasts forever. Ako ito po ay nakakalimutan ng nakakalimutan ng marami. Kaya sana po, bilang mga magulang, mapalalahanan po tayo. Ma-realize po natin na hindi lang po talaga ito ang buhay. There is something beyond this life na may buhay na dinanais ng Lord na mas maganda. Kaya kahit po may problema, kahit na hindi na anong magaling ang mga anak natin, kahit na may pagkakamali, kahit may mga broken relationships, marunong tayo magpahalaga, tumanggap, magpatawad, magluto sa buhay, at magpasalamat, yes, sa ating Panginoon, kahit sa mga sinting bagay na, na ating natatanggap. That's why I love the third word, exemplify. To exemplify means to demonstrate or to show. And I like it that our role model here is Jesus Christ Himself, our Lord. So, we want our children and ourselves basically not just to be excellent, not just to exceed our expectations. We want everyone to have a continuous change in our attitude, our character, and in so doing, we are becoming a blessing to each other. Just like Lisa. Ibu ba? Yung po ang pinakamahalaga. So that our children will become a better person, a better son, daughter, a better community citizen, a better future leader. Why? Because they are not just training to excel, but they are having the Christ-like attitude which Santa we believe is giving much emphasis because this is a precious world. There are a lot of ways that I'd like to focus only on two, on how we can go about it. The first one is love. Pag-ibig. The Bible says, even if we do great things, accomplish great things, yet without love, all of our greatness is nothing. And God is shown how much He loves us when we send the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our healer. He is our provider. He gave everything. He was a peace of God. He lived in heaven. And then He showed His great love for us. And so, He is challenging us to love one another also. And to accept each one as God has accepted us. So that's one, love. Secondly, ako to po ang naisip ko ng Panginoon sa atin, the humility. Why? Jesus, as I said, was the Son of God, and then He lived with us. He, he communicated with us. He fellowshiped with us. He humbled Himself and lived among us and gave Himself and died on the cross. At ito po ang nais po natin patuloy natin matutunan na tayo po ay magmahal. Kilalanin natin na wala tayo na hindi po wala si Lord. So when we want our children to excel, we must also remind them that they should not be boastful because all the gifts, all the talents that we have, all the resources that we have, even the children that we have, all of them came from God. And we are just stewards of this resources. I'd like to end this message with a story. Wala akong PowerPoint, pero meron akong picture. Ayan. Okay, children, would you like to listen to the story? Ha? Okay. So, ayan po. You are, oh, thank you. You are quite familiar with this, for sure. Pero may second version ito. So, kung meron ako sa anak ito, medyo mabagun ko na lang po ang application. The story of... What is this? The rabbit is a... Turtle! How many of you are familiar with the story? I got... Di ba in the story, they had a race? Yes, yes. Nagkamit sila na race. 
akin ni Mr. Kreger. Oh, ako kakalabanin mo. Karami, kaya-kaya kitang talugin. So sabi ni Mr. Kreger, oh, sige, raise tayo. And so, are they here? And they are about to go over to the finish line. Siyempre, hindi mo mas kabilis mo ang ball. So, at the start of the race, tumakbuhay lang si Rabbit. Naliliwan si Mr. Kretel. Ngayon, alam namin na noon, malayo na siya. Sabi ni Mr. Rabbit, Hi, nako. Ito si Mr. Kretel talaga. Ang bagal-bagal. Ay. And so, nakakatulog siya. Diba? Pero si Mr. Turtle, he kept on, sorry, he kept on walking and walking and walking hanggang na lang pasay na si Mr. Turtle. At siya yung nanalo, nakalating sa finish line. Pag lumakasin, o pinalampakan ang agatila, no? Lumakasin si Mr. Rabbit, panalo, panalo na si Mr. Turtle. Oh, hindi nagtapos din yung story. May part two. Malungkot si Mr. Grabe. Sabi niya, bakit sa mga kasi nakatulog ako. <clears throat> hindi na ako papayot this time. You know, in the first, uh, the first episode, in the first uh, round, kasi he was so confident. At kapag tayo masyado tiwala sa rin natin, di ba, hindi na maganda. So, ngayon, si Mr. Rabbit, he learned a lesson. Sabi niya, oh, nalaban mo yung ako. Halika, Mr. Rabbit. Halika, ito pala yung direksyon ko, sorry. Ayan. Raise ulit tayo. And this time, kids, nag-isip na ni Mr. Rabbit, hindi na ako matutulog. And so, who do you think won on the second round? Si Mr. Rabbit. Oh, ang galing. Siyempre, si Mr. Rabbit. Malungkot naman ngayon si Mr. Turtle. Sabi niya. Ay, ako naman ang natalo ngayon. So, ngayon, nag-isip na nag-isip si Mr. Turtle. Sabi niya, hindi ako papayat. Ako na yung nanalo ng una. Alam niyo? Nakaisip siya ng plano. Sabi niya, Halika pa, Rabbit. Race ulit tayo. Sabi niya, Rabbit, Oo ba? Ako pa, di ba? Ngayon, sabi niya, Rabbit, Mini Turtle, Pero, huwag na siya tayo, Nakakasawa na yun eh. Dito tayo sa kabila. Sabi niya, Rabbit, Oo, oh, no problem. So, ayan na, Yung finish time, Huwag nung tuto ba na yun? So, ito, tumakbo na silang dalawa. At pag, Nako na si Mr. Rabbit. Kaso, pagdating dito sa gitna, may ilo. Hala, hindi siya mamuloy na mamuloy. Paano ako dito tatawin? Eto na si Mr. Turtle. Nakakita ni Mr. Turtle. Can you swim? Kaya mo mag-swim ni Mr. Turtle? Yes, because He is a land and water animal. Ang hindi ang rapidsit. So, ito na. No more si Mr. Turtle. Naiwan si Mr. Rabbit. Sino na nalo? Mr. Turtle! So, ano yung score nila? Zulu! Oh, kuwan na. Nako. Nanalo na naman si Mr. Turtle. And you know, ang maganda nito, kids, they became friends. Ayan. Parang kanina, di ba? Kaya na lang na kayo. Hindi na naman dapat. Dapat na yun, no? Hindi yung away yung away. And so, you know what happened? Sabi ni Mr. Robin, sa kami sa kanya, hindi na naman away. O sige, alam mo na ang gagawin natin. Nung nasa lahat sila, para pumilis si Mr. Turtle, pinoy ka na. Si Mr. Turtle, pinoy ka na. 
Thank you. 